This week, we're joined by Foster from Bears Country Podcast, one of my favorite people to talk to online, and definitely I've talked to Zero off on the phone a little bit as well. And let me tell you guys, one of my favorite quotes is, knowledge plus experience equals wisdom. And there's definitely nobody out there that I know that's more experienced than Foster. Uh, my pleasure to be here, man. You're, you just put a lot of pressure on me. You know, now, now I got to look good, damn it. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for having me. Yeah, um, but let's start it off. How do you guys feel about this last game? I, I As I go through the game, I, I remember being really excited uh, because the first big thing that happened for the Bears was Brisker blocking that pass, man. He batted the ball from Flacco. And, and as the game wore on, I, I was like, wow, we actually – are looking pretty decent. I mean, we still had issues on offense, some spacing, play calling, uh, not catching the ball. So you guys saw the game, man. Those first three quarters looked okay. I mean, we could have done better offensively, but you got to remember Cleveland's the best defense in the NFL. But catching the ball, uh, some spacing on the play calling, and you're gonna you're gonna get into this, but I'm I'm pretty worried about the interior of our offensive line. If we got to go up against, that's a playoff caliber team, man. So it doesn't matter what we do during the season if we don't have the people and the system to to finish to finish the year off. And and what do we all want? Super Bowl. I mean, as an individual game, I um, it was probably one of the more hopeful times I've had in the last like two seasons and uh, I got really excited for the game and because I think I got so excited I kind of let some of the excitement and enthusiasm blind me a little bit and so um, I guess it should we we got what we expected a lot of and Polly like 20 minutes before game time just said what do we know about this team at the end of the day more than anything is that they're incredibly inconsistent and nailed it on the head this is this was a microcosm game for the whole season it was Decent defense, you know, completely lackluster offense in in the most frustrating way where you know that there's talented guys out there just not being used properly and all those things that we've been seeing all season. Um, but it was just very disappointing overall. You know, the Bears actually competed really, really well and arguably should have won that game. So what do I see from it? I think it's a good sign. I think if you uh, zoom out a little bit, right, because we were just so excited. I wanted to see some freaking play. I would. I would love to watch a wild card first round bounce out. I would have killed for that. I'm so sick of, you know, just watching loss after loss. And I got excited for a little bit for a playoff game. But overall, good signs of some things to come because everything is young right now and an experience on this Bears team. So this that was some of the worst ball control, like kill the clock management I've ever seen. And – consistently through the season that is one of the worst areas of this of this team i don't even attribute that to bad defense because part of that is just how much do you want them to do you know dropped touchdowns four interceptions you have a muff punt on the 20 and they bail you out with a diving interception from a rookie so i I wasn't as negative about it i'm mad but overall like zooming out and how the game went honestly it probably was really good There's blame to go all around. There always is. Foster, I really like something you posted on Twitter recently, which was, hey, well, what percentage of the blame falls on fields? And really, that's that's the question people should be asking because, yes, there's always blame. Nobody is perfect. And these guys sit there in, you know, study tape, and they pick themselves apart, probably are way more critical about their own play than we ever are. And, you know, it's funny because any kind of criticism you make fans – some fans cannot take it. They they always have to pick one side or the other, and it's not it's not that because sure there's blame on fields. However, I feel you know if you want to talk percentage wise, no, I think probably the coaching staff did a more wrong. It's complimentary football, right? So if the offense cannot have any kind of ball control and you put your defense in the worst possible situation, then yeah, I mean you're really giving them an uphill battle when it comes to bailing you out in those situations. So it, there is a balance here. Uh, defense got gassed. They got gassed. They were on that field too long. 